it can be anything that causes it not only overtraining right? it can be really anything um, anything that is perceived as stress by the body and I may say that the standard mainstream lifestyle is full of any stress factors like it can be what can it be it can be lack of sleep late nights overworking stimulants like or frequent use of stimulants like coffee and energy drinks which give fake energy and stress the adrenals and it can be emotional or spiritual or you know like any kind of trauma like state of mind and anything you know it can be conflicts it can be relation Of course the body is made to handle stress, but it can be too much stress faster than you may think. So, and then of course overtraining as well, and there can be so much other things as well. Um, and so what is overtraining? It actually, um, it actually is a combination of of intensity, volume and duration. And most most athletes or the best like most people that exercise um, have one of these three factors high. Like they do high ten high intensity or high volume or high duration. And um, but the thing is I actually did all of these three factors high. Like I did high intensity and high volume and high duration. That means concretely like one hour of running or jogging or intense 45 minutes of weight exercise or 100 squats or, squats or whatever. Like these two alternate, al alternating, al alternating, <laughs> and um, so I, I, I alternated between r running or jogging and weight exercise, and um, so I did either the one or the other every day. And yeah, so six to seven week, uh, six or seven days a week, and also with intervals and sprints and like really heavy weight exercise. So I always, or at least in those two months where I did too much, I I always included some high intensity like intervals and sprints, like really, really, really super huge high intensity. Like I ran as fast as I could. Mm, as often as I kind of could get myself to um, or did stairs or whatever like I really 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 challenged myself and I challenged myself before in the half year but not as much as in these two months so basically in the in these two months February and March I just uh, I tried to get everything out of me like I really wanted to get better and healthier and like this oh yeah I'm doing the right thing mindset but I just over challenged myself so much like yeah so this is the first thing I want to say I don't think that that high intensity combined with high volume and high duration is a good thing at all. So you might want to look into that, that you find a kind of balance that you do like one of them, that you challenge one of them. Like maybe you do it high intense but then have don't do it as 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 often or not as long every time so 
where actually does overtraining begin? Um, When you're injured, when you're hurt, you're overtraining. And that is kind of pff, simple, but I think, yes. Um, so that's the, the, the first thing you want to look out for. Are you injured? Does your knee hurt? Knee is a, is a frequent issue when running or also cycling. And, or, or does anything else hurt? But I, I only watched out for the for the kind of joint issues or muscle issues, you know, when, when you just feel your muscle isn't recovered yet. Um, but I didn't, I didn't think actually, and I didn't watch out for, I didn't think that, that other symptoms can, like, I had to say, I can't even believe it. Like, I didn't think that, that the heart can start to hurt that you can get heart pain or anything else that feels kind of weird or different or not right in your body that that can come from exercise from too much exercise equaling too much stress I just didn't associate that <laughs> with each other so and that is why I didn't why I didn't notice myself as hurt and injured but actually I was injured and the thing is, we all, so I was thinking, I, I didn't actually have real much weight to lose. Like, I was a normal weight and slim, but I just wanted to tone up. And I thought, well, you can see a bit more of my abdominal muscles and just, you know, just wanted to tone up. And that is why I thought, yes, the exercise would get me there um, together, like, with a healthy diet. And... So I was kind of thinking, yeah, the, the more I do, the more exercise I do, the more I'm going to reach, like, or the, the, the faster I'm going to reach my goal. And but we all know that you can't, like, you can't really make the process faster. Like, <sighs> yes, and still we sometimes think we still want to. So... You might think that by moving fast or by by doing intense training or you know by training often and long you will lose weight brackets faster but in fact when stress levels are high and adrenals are working overtime like too much we will stay like uh, that that makes our body store fat. That makes our body a fat storing machine because our metabolism is affected by that and it just like it just creates the opposite of what we actually wanted. Mm. So we gain weight instead of losing weight. And that is because our adrenals respond to stress and even if we think it's positive. So I also consider exercising as positive stress maybe that was also what kept me going um, but even if it's positive and even if it can actually help us reduce stress that is only the case when it's not too much so and what is too much I think also like when you are tired when it makes you tired that is also very very important I think being hurt or being injured is also when you're just, you know, kind of exhausted, don't feel like exercising, are tired, fatigued. Um, 
But that kind of, I wasn't able to actually feel that. I, I only felt that when I already crashed. I, I wasn't aware of it enough. I just, yeah. Um, so when we are exhausted and tired after exercise or generally the, the day after, our genes are actually working very hard. And um, when we continue exercising, although we feel quite unrecovered, that puts added stress and strain on the adrenals. And that causes them to, you know, getting to, to get more exhausted every time we, we go for exercising again without having recovered properly. And so um, the goal is actually to keep the heart rate low so that it is no stress, but high intensity training always goes over that like big time. <laughs> like it always skips the beat of your heart. Um, so in the coming parts I'm going to talk about the stages of adrenal fatigue, like how it develops and what you can watch out for and also to the symptoms that I experience and that are very common for adrenal fatigue. And you know what it has to do with diet, why I couldn't tolerate my high carb low fat vegan diet anymore and why I really doubted uh, if this diet is the right way for me and um, yes but stay tuned because um, I have a lot of information for you. <laughs>